Now it's time to carve our cake. And these are the templates that we've made earlier. I just added one straight line over here so I know what's the position of our chimpanzee. I also melted some chocolate to cover all the metal parts of our construction so they don't touch the cake. And the thing I forgot to mention about the tools and materials that you need, there are some, these are some straws that we are going to use to cover our long threaded rod. And I also have made um, uh, this board for the head, for the construction to place it over here. And uh, now it's time to, to start carving our cake. First of all, we're gonna, like I said, use some chocolate and some brush and just cover the whole thing. Once this chocolate is all set, it's gonna stay on the metal. And when you cut the cake, this chocolate will stay right where it is. Just give it a minute or two to set. Now I'm just going to see what's the height of our head part. We're gonna cut some straws. We can use also our our plan to cut the straws. Let's double check. Uh, of course, this straw is a little too small for this long threaded root, so I'm going to use more straws for this. You just cut. I think we're going to need three. Cut all three of them. Looks like two will be enough. I don't need this one yet. Now we have to make a decision which way and how are we going to cut our cake. We could do it like this and just place some uh, pieces of cake like this. But I think it's better if we lay it uh, like this because we have more structure. Otherwise, uh, I noticed that my cake can fall apart. It can just split and we have problems. So I'm going to cut this one. I do have some more cake in my fridge if I need more. This part can get a little messy, so it's very useful to have your gloves on. As you can see, this cake doesn't have a layer of ganache between, so we have to do that. I usually stack my cakes into fridge or, or in a freezer already layered with ganache, but this one, somehow I didn't do it. Uh, but no worries, we can do it right now. I have my hot water with knives inside. We still need some more pieces. I'm going to start right now. So this comes over here.
the good thing about this mud cake is whenever you see a hole or some cake missing, you, you can just uh, stick it on with some ganache and you won't even see. Now is the time to add our construction bolts. Just cover it with chocolate. We have to cover this with chocolate on the bottom side first. We have to somehow make it stand on this angle and sideways. So you can just fill it up with, with some cake on one side. It needs some more chocolate. Now wait till this chocolate gets set. I think we have the angle. Meanwhile, you can fill all the holes that you need, or you can wait till you carve a little bit of your cake. Maybe I, we should wait and make some paste out of this. I have to clean my table and I'll get back to you. Now it's time to carve our cake, just approximately a rough shape. And then we're going to do some paste with our leftovers. And then we're going to do the head. The head will be mostly out of cake. And outside of the head, I'm going to use also the paste because it's easy, it's easier to mold. So we are going to do that. This is our frontal view. Just place it on the cake. Some more height here on the back of the head. Let's 
Pozzi. Let's start making the head. Now we're going to put some extra straws on this part. Cut off the excess. I'll just cut a little bit of excess and for everything else on the head I will use uh, cake paste. It's a very messy part as you can see. Okay, now I'm going to clean up and we are going to do the paste out of the, our leftovers. For the cake paste, you just take all your off guards, all your leftovers of this cake and just add some ganache. Maybe one more. And just mix it up. You can do fine as you like. Maybe it's more tastier if you have some chunks of cake left, but you can also make a paste like for cake pops. Don't put in too much ganache. So it doesn't get, get too soft. Just so it sticks together like this. You see, I can make a ball. Now fill in any gaps. And shape the head.
this point, you don't need to worry too much about all the details and all the proportions if they are a little bit off because there are a lot of sugar paste that we are going to put on and you won't see all the details or the bone structure. Just have that main shape and the main proportions right and you'll do just great. Now we are going to mask our cake with ganache, just the lower part. And I've already made some more paste for our hands and for our legs. Just take some ganache and you spread it to give it a crumb coat to fill up any gaps and to stick all the crumbs on the cake. It can be a little thicker than just a crumb coat. Maybe we can do it in one coat. If not, we'll do a second one. You see, my ganache is quite soft, just right. Once you do this, just take a soft scraper. You can make it yourself out of some plastic that you have lying at your home. And you just smooth the ganache. We can also do the head because my head is not very smooth at this point. I'll just put some ganache on it. And I have to do also the shape. I have to correct it a little bit. You see, you can also do it without the palette. Just with the scraper, you can add on some ganache and then spot it out. When you have rounded shape, it's best if you have softer scraper so you can round it with your hands to make the same shape as your cake is and make your life easier. Follow your reference pictures and you'll know what to do. Okay, now clean your board and we're gonna cover it, the whole cake with cling wrap and give the cake some final shapes. Just cover it with cling wrap. Try to make it without any folds. Mm -hmm. 
Now you can make some more pushes. If there's any air bubbles, just fog them out. Now try to make the eyes sockets. Little indentation where the eyes should be. And this eyebrow structure bone. This eyebrow bone. Now we can place it in the fridge and get it completely cooled. And in the meantime, we're going to do the legs and the arms. For our arms and legs, I've put some cellophane sheet over our plan, not to get it too dirty. And I have my mud cake paste over here. The same as before, our arm has to be one centimeter or eight millimeters smaller on each side. Uh, so we can put on all the sugar paste that we are going to do. Just take a piece. You see, a little bigger. Just approximately, then we're going to shape it again. I think this will be okay. And for the lower part, we are just going to do it without the wrists because the hand we're going to do out of modeling chocolate, out of sculpting, sculpting, sculpturing, sculpting paste. It's like this. And do the eyeball, uh, elbow. We're gonna do each part of the arm separately. That means upper part and lower part of the, uh, the arm. So I think I have my proportions right. And we need two of them. Just rough shape first, so you see if you have enough paste. You could also weight this one and take the, the, the same amount for the other, other arm. Just squeeze it a little bit here so we can attach it to the body.
the same thing for the leg. So the leg attaches on this side like this and goes up and this is the knee. So flatten it up here and here. So we can stick it like this. Do another one. And the lower part of the leg, the same thing. This is good enough. Now we're gonna also, like the body part, we're gonna cover it with cling film. Okay, I have here my parts, arms and legs, and now I'm gonna bring out the cake just to try them on. It's a little bit colder now. And now those are our legs. Now you can shape those legs squeeze them to fit properly mm -hmm. we still need some room for the foot this legs could be a little bigger i believe where the ties are but i think we can cover it with uh, sugar paste and give it more volume later it's missing some paste over here I think I have to do it again I have to make this monkey's ties a little bigger we have some paste left so we can do that to make some indentation over here better like this this is the beauty of the of mat cake you can shape it just press it Now I like it better. All right, this one is okay. And this one.
this one is okay also. I think those arms are a little too wide, a little too big. After we put the sugar paste on, they will be too, too big. Just take off some paste. Make it look more skinny. And we can always add on some more paste, but it's difficult to take it off later on. Before we put all the parts in the fridge, I just want to do one layer of chocolate on the head and then chill it for a little bit and uh, then put another layer of ganache so the fondant can stick on it. If we leave only the chocolate, it's a little bit rough texture and the, the fondant doesn't stick that well. So yeah, I'm gonna remove all those parts carefully so I don't mix it so I know where it all goes. have my chocolate here, it's melted. Then take the soft scraper again and just take a little bit of chocolate, wipe off the bottom part and apply a thin layer of chocolate on the head. Don't try to do it all at once, just part by part, because it gets set quite quickly. And try to make it smooth as you can. But don't worry, it won't be that smooth as ganache is. And we're gonna take, we put another layer of ganache on top of it. This layer of chocolate is very good if you leave your cake on room temperature for a longer time and it gives the structure so nothing can fall apart and when you push your fondant onto your cake it gives that resistance I won't do that in the eye sockets because I need to push some ice inside and I don't want that resistance. That's enough. Now leave it to set, then we're gonna apply another coat of ganache on top of it. Now we're going to put another layer of ganache on top of it to smooth everything out and to enable our fondant to stick on the head.
you can use your palette knife and then this scraper to smooth it out or just do it like this. If you can't reach some parts, you can put some gloves. So just smooth it out by hand. And once it gets hardened a little bit, you can smooth it even further. Okay, I'm happy with this one. There are some layers of sugar paste coming on. So we don't have to exaggerate. It is smooth enough. And then we are going to color our legs and our arms with fondant. And then cover the whole lot with fondant. We're gonna make just one thin layer at first and a second one to do all the details, I'll show you. <laughs> 